is gearing up to celebrate two things next week. It's second year in business, and that craft breweries are again thriving in the Miami Valley. They certainly are. Tyler Yutska is serving up the details for us tonight. Yeah, I spoke with the owner of Toxic Brew Company, and he says he can't believe his brewery is already hitting its two-year mark, saying it's been a long journey getting to the point where the brewery currently stands with around 14 staple beers, ranging from light blonde ales to big imperial stouts. Next Monday will mark the second anniversary of craft brews being made in Dayton in over 50 years. Business has been good for Toxic Brew Company. They're now looking to take business to the next step, saying they've expanded as much as they can at their 5th Street location. Just this last little while, I got our 23-barrel fermenter up and running, so we can actually triple batch into it. But right now, after, I mean, after that, we have no more space, so we can basically double our production from last year. But after that, I mean, literally, probably looking for, you know, another location to have a production facility. And Jewel says he's not sure exactly where the next location will be, but he hopes to stay in the Miami Valley. And as for the celebrations on Monday, they're even crafting a special beer called the Imperial Box Troll. And that's special oh. for Monday, which is Craft Beer Day. It's been so exciting to see all of the brewers put their own unique stamp on all of their drinks. And talking about the Monday event, free, open to the public? Yep, free for everyone who wants to go and get a, get a beer and celebrate the day. All right, excellent. Tyler Yutska, thanks so much.